Right. Been away for a week. That's my shiny zinc header. There, my crown plated headland balls. That is my surfaced flywheel. What we're going to do now is get the escort in here. So, transit van is going to have to be reversed in here. Escort is going to be driven past. Transit van is going to be pushed out. And then the escort is going to come in here, up in the air, and engine out. She's gonna go! Here we go, up in the air. Uh, what we're gonna do is take the front wheels out, and we'll probably just do it all on high speed. Take the front wheels out, drop the struts out, take the prop off, take the exhaust off. Disconnect all the wires and cables, and, uh, and then what we'll do is we'll raise the front up higher. Put a jack under the front cross member, and under the gearbox, and then we'll lower it all out together and then drag it out the front. There we go, right, let's get on with it. Right then, I've got over here the speedo cables out the gearbox mount, I have to take it off to get the circ clip out, the exhaust is off, the prop is off, um, yeah, and I'll just do the uh, clutch cable, and I just wanted to make a note that this is at its maximum extension, and I was always a bit suspicious why it was always so far out, I got a feeling the clutch, or the clutch cover is not standard, and anyway this whole thing makes a bit of a noise on the thrust bearing as well. So uh, yeah, got me two 17mm spanners here and we'll uh, just crack this off and it'll be done. There we go. That's out of there. So gear lever. Then we get the struts off. This is the quick shift. 
And if anybody knows why these are so damn noisy, let me know in the comments. It's all right, at, like not very fast, but you get the motorway cruising speeds and things just deafening. <laughs> Horrible thing. But I'm reluctant to change it because the movement's so nice. Things we sacrifice. And I'll pop the whack that off. Kids were looking at me like we're using a hammer on the car. there that's fine and I can stay there until we build the car back up again I may change those to the yellow ones I think I will change those to the yellow ones Russell yeah. on the top of that green toolbox over there uh -huh. is a tire lever uh -huh. right in the top Looks like a tire leader. No, it's not a tire leader. Right, that's I think tight as. So I'm gonna have to whack it again. Alright, hopefully. There's a 5 8 span around there, mate. I think it's the only one I've got. I've got dozens and dozens of metric sets. It's a bent one, sitting on the floor almost 90 degrees. Yes. That's it. I'm going to trust you on 5 8 spanner. That's it. I should have left that on there. Just to crack, crack that off. Now I'll never take the nut right off. Just leave it like three or four threads on. So just in case your hammer slips and whacks the top of the ball joint, you don't damage the thread. Pressure on. I think swap over the... Do you want to swap over? Maybe turn back a bit further and... Don't put pressure on that. Yeah. Let's see if we can get the angle first. I don't want to take anybody's teeth out. <laughs> That's not good. That could have been nasty. Right. Shit. Bloody hell. It got to shine in ass today. Right, this one won't come off, it's welded. Shit. Freaking missed that, I want to mark it. Got it? Yeah. Probably went half an hour ago, just weren't putting enough, uh, enough oomph into it. Mm. You reckon? Yeah. 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 
Okay. No, I don't reckon so. No. It doesn't take much. No. It doesn't actually take much to make a wiggle. Does it? Mm. So you have a lot more pressure on it than that. Right, I'll take that off. Looks like I've put some, maybe some new boots on things, but we lost the cap off of here. Take the anti-roll bar off, get the jack under it, take the front cross member bolts out, and we should be able to drop the engine. But not so fast because I haven't actually undone any, any of the cabling fuel pipe. Clutch is done, uh, speeder cable's done, but still got to do everything else. Right, pretty much everything I uh, need to disconnect is disconnected. In fact, I hope everything is disconnected. Starter motor, aircon, alternators off, uh, steering joints undone, radiator, all that's out, all the electrics disconnected, clutch, speedo, can't see anything else. So next I'm gonna jack the jack the car up, get it on the level, get it high enough to get the engine underneath the front balance. And uh, yeah, the only thing that's left attached is the fuel because at this angle with the fuel tank higher than the engine it just runs out so maybe when it's level again I can pull the fuel it's not a lead is it uh, hose the fuel hose off all right so next shot will be this up in the air like I was saying get it up in the air so probably going to come down in two stages because of the blocks of wood that we have to use to get the height to get it high enough to be able to get the engine out it's all very well dropping the engine onto the floor but it's having a height to be able to get it out as well so if that starts to tip so something it shouldn't move lots of surface area now that the, the, yeah yeah now it's got the weight of it now so to take the take the bolts out can we just put that jack back underneath the gearbox? Can do. But yeah, that's best. Put it, put it here. I know, I know where. I'm... Yeah, put it wherever you can. Stands. 
the dog's going to have to lower that jack down as well. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's high as it goes. That is uh, a bit tight. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to come down with this a little bit. Now. Yeah. Oh, let's move. Let's try and move. This is false. Oh, sh that's why I don't know. Because because it's leaning at the back here. Leaning at the back. Like the wood is okay. So it's right over it. Leaning which way? Like, Towards back of the car. Yeah. You should really try and get the jack to the load is directly above it, not at an angle. So you need to try and push the jack out a bit. Yeah. That's it, yeah? Yeah. Oh, on the other side somewhere. Ah. Ah. Right. No, 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 no. I've got to get the steering uh, tap. Got a little hammer. Or a copper hammer. No, get the, get the plastic one out of the, out of the drawer. Yes. You do me a favour. Yep. And just stop and keep that in check. But now we should be. Let's just see what I've got. Off of that on that uh, axle stand there, so just a fine adjustment. There we go. <laughs> Safety flip flop. Right, so that's down on there. What I've got to do now is take a few blocks of wood out. Let's see if that will do it. Just about. I just run out of. Uh... Barely. Ah. 
tricky little bugger. The other stand. What other stand? The other stand there. That's fine. to uh, slip off the jack quite like that but like I say it obviously means I can't just wheel it out I've got a handle on here Slip a jacket up a bit and then slip uh, a sheet of metal underneath it, slide it on the metal, a piece of wood. You see where the sun plug is? Mm -hmm. okay, that's what it's digging up. Oh, I can see it from here, it's cutting right in. Look, I'm going to have a look. Cracking from making a right mess. Ooh. Right, I'm going to try and jack it up. Can you stick that in there? Yep. Yeah. Don't worry about that, it's too handy. Not a scratch on the car. It wasn't as hard last time, but uh, last time we didn't actually uh, didn't actually take the engine out. Just cut the car high enough to paint the engine back. 
boat. I know the other car I've done like it's, this. It came off again. That's fine. Any other car I've done like this was a bit of scrap car. <laughs> Tip it outside and pull everything out. Right. So. Huh. Sunday afternoon. I've had enough. I'm tired. I need a beer. Watch a bit of TV. It's probably about five o'clock now. What time is it? 4.30. 4.30. So anyway, what we're going to do is pull the gearbox off and uh, I think it needs a new rear seal. Check all the bits and pieces. Mess around with alternator brackets, aircon brackets, this, that and the other. Here's the nose sensor. That bracket's got to come off. There's the chugger wheel, that's got to come off. So I shall potter around with that probably tomorrow. Bye-bye.